Yeah, Stephanie and Brian, as you mentioned, less than eight hours after hearing opening statements, the jury is already deliberating whether or not there's enough evidence to convict former state Senator Norm McAllister of procuring a person for prostitution. It's a charge that he's denied since the beginning. The state says McAllister arranged for a woman who worked and lived on his farm to have sex with a man for money in order to pay her bills. McAllister's defense attorney says there's no evidence that McAllister facilitated the situation. Here's Here's what each side had to say during closing arguments this afternoon. There's nobody that sees this person coming and going. There's nobody that sees an exchange of money. There's no, uh, there's no payment of a receipt, no payment of an electric bill or a water bill. There's no evidence whatsoever that Mr. McAllister was involved in this. If you believe her, then that is proof beyond a reasonable doubt. If you believe her, it's proof beyond a reasonable doubt because there is no contrary evidence. The state calling four witnesses today, the first being its key witness, the alleged victim in this case, who got emotional testifying about the alleged prostitution situation that she was involved in. Three Vermont State Police Troopers also testifying, answering questions about their investigation. The defense did not call any witnesses today. And as of right now, we're keeping an eye on those jury deliberations, and we will bring you the latest if and when that jury reaches a verdict. For now, live in St. Albans, I'm Liz Strepa, NBC5 News.